the video about natural join described how easy it was to use natural join as compared to equi join in order to join these two tables called EMP and the EPT to find out the name of the department for employees. So we found out we joined these two tables with the help of natural join and we found out Steven is an executive, Bruce is belongs to IT department and Nancy belongs to finance department and so on and so forth. So we ended up with 106 rows. In employee table there are 107 uh, rows. One of the employees does not belong to any department. It does not have any department ID and for that reason we have data for 106 employees only. Fair enough. Now I just wanted to show you situations when it might not be a good idea idea to use natural join. Mind you we ended up getting the same results with the help of EQV join but we had to use a where clause as a mandatory clause as well as we had to write the name of the columns. We had to use the equity operator and for some people it might be cumbersome. Now these two tables EMP and the EPT they are subsets of other tables if you haven't seen my previous videos we created this table called EMP with the help of data from employees table and employees table has a number of columns in it. Same thing is true with this. Uh, this EMP table has only two columns as compared to employees which has a number of columns. Table TEPT only has two columns as compared to four columns in departments table and department ID is common in the EPT table as well as in EMP table. So we joined these two tables with the help of natural join which ask a relational database management system to locate the columns that have exactly the same name in two different tables in source table and in target table. So what if we wanted to use the same condition, same natural join for these two tables, employees and departments and all and, and the intention would be the same to find out the name of the employees, name of the departments for all employees and that, that is the intention. So we'll use this uh, statement, select all from employees, natural join departments. We'll run this statement and see what happens. We have only 32 rows. Why is that? The reason being these two tables, employees. If you look at this data, employees, it has two columns that have matching name in, in this table as well. So manager ID and department ID is common in both tables. If you look at this data, department ID and manager ID. So what's happening here? This natural join is using two columns to join tables instead of instead of one column each. So instead of using department ID, it is also using manager ID to join two tables and you are ending up with wrong data if that was not your intention. So what you can do in such cases, you can use select all, you can omit natural join, you can say just join departments and say using, use using clause and within brackets you can type in the name of the in such cases. So if you run this statement, we should have 106 rows which is exactly right and the idea was to find out the name of the department for each employee so we'll just move this column and So Jennifer belongs to administration, Michael belongs to marketing, Pat belongs to marketing and so on and so forth. Thank you very much. So in, in, in quite a number of situations, it is not a good idea to use natural join. You need to be more specific. You can use join with using clause and you have to specify the name of the column. If your 
tables have more than one column with exactly the same name. Thank you very much.